Welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. My name is Jason. Welcome to this whiskey review where today we're going to be concluding our Glen Murray series into the Elgin Heritage range and we're going to be concluding with the Glen Murray 18 year old. So this one is an 18 year old whiskey. It's bottled at an ABV of 47.2%. It's actually higher than these two because these two are both at 40% and 40%. Uh, and in terms of the cast selection, this one actually is written very well here. It's in First Fill American Oak Cast. So the actual distillery is the Glen Murray Distillery. They're owned by the parent company, La Martinique. Uh, I can never say that name. I'm probably never going to be able to pronounce it until I go back up to Scotland and then learn it from the master distiller himself. And in terms of the region, it is from the Speyside region of Scotland. Now, in terms of the price point, it's got a very different box as well. It's got one of these like slidey, pushy boxes. But it's 74 to £77 pounds here in the UK currently. And at the same time, you can pick up on offers at the minute because of Christmas. So do keep an eye out if you do see those. Now, in terms of, is it an exclusive bottling? It is going to be a core range bottling for the Elgin Heritage range. So it's not going to be exclusive in that sense. So without further ado, I want to jump straight into the nosing of this whiskey. Into the nose. So starting things out on the nose of this one, the 18 year old is kind of like a dessert in a glass and I really am like bowled over the amount of notes I'm getting on this one on the nose. So first things up, you start with a nice sweet sort of clementine character. You then develop one of these things over here we get in the UK, it's called scones. It reminds me of buttered scones. Oh, it's very interesting. Oh, and then you, from that you then go into like a custard tart where you've got this lovely pastry, this vanilla custard rolling in the middle. A bit of icing sugar just dusted over the top of it. And now I'm getting apples. And it's like freshly cut apples and, and like an apple strudel. But not an apple strudel with like blackberries or anything else. And just a plain apple strudel with the pastry and a little bit of big um, sugar cubes just over the top. Maybe sort of a little bit of a la lavish serving of vanilla custard on the side as well to go with it. And it does have a very interesting note on the back end of the nose. To me, it reminds me of a fruit I had in Taiwan. It's called a star fruit. I'm not sure if we get them over here, but actually it doesn't look like a star when you hold it upright, but when you turn it, it's all a long way around, it looks like an actual star. Really reminds me of the star fruit. And not, not to be confused with a Sharon fruit, because I have heard people here in the UK call a Sharon fruit a star fruit. Two different things. I do get a little bit of that grassy character that I actually found on the 12-year-old, uh, but this one now is a bit more like a citrusy grassy note. For me, I'm going to pinpoint that to a lemongrass. And there's that apple note again, but it's like freshly cut apples, but at the same time like pears and it's like a fresh fruit salad almost. Wow. I'm really impressed with the nose. Fingers crossed it holds up on the palate. So into the palate, slunger guys. So starting our opinions, and I say our opinions, our opinions on the actual palate. You hold this one in the palate for a little longer than 10 seconds, and suddenly the texture evolves into a much more richer, syrupy texture on the palate. Very lovely. I do get a little bit of a nutty presence to begin with. It's almost like cashews. And for me, I really have to pinpoint this one now to and push it towards pistachio nougat. It's something I got to try as I got to try all these different types of nougat. And when you pair them to whiskey, it's really incredible how the nutty character really sort of matches very similarly. It does have a little bit of an oaky presence. For me, it's like cedar wood, but then it goes into those sort of those back into those fresh fruits, like an apples, green apples, but it's almost like stewed green apples and a combination of spices adding to this mouth-warming character. I'm getting a bit of cloves into this one, a little bit of nutmeg, like a little dash of nutmeg. And there is this like little bit of a, a bitter character, but at the same time, a sweetness. And the sweetness is much more dominant with a very little narrow bitter character. And to me, that's like licorice. Really lovely, chewy, and very enjoyable. Let's get into the finish next. We'll come to our conclusion on the Glen Murray 18. So for my opinions on the actual finish now, the finish for this whiskey for the Glen Murray 18 has a nice long finish to it. You get this nice sweet malty note, which really carries itself throughout the nose into the palate and then into the finish, where you get a little bit of a slight briny note as well, which I have no idea where this came from. It's like a little salty note. And then you get these golden ripe sun, as well as golden sun tan sultanas, 
and a little bit of tangerines just on the end. And that really sits much more on the front of the palette. But in terms of my rating for that one, keep it just over here. My rating is going to be an 89 out of 100. The 18 year old is very, very well put together. It's a very complex, very nicely balanced dram as well. For me, the way I describe this, if I describe it in two words, it's liquid dessert. Because from the nose, they got so many of these dessert ideas with the custard tart and the you know, apple strudel. And then even the buttered scone, something you have for breakfast over here. It's just really just an incredible dram on the nose. And I'm so glad this one actually replicated itself onto the palette and then into the finish. And that bit of character was ever so faint just on the end. Or that was like licorice to me. It wasn't heavily oaked bitterness, which can be off-putting. So I'm really glad with this dram. Glen Murray, again, fantastic whiskey. 89 out of 100. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section if you've got a chance to try this one. If you've not, then fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I think it's coming out to the America very soon as well because I think um, they've got two ambassadors, one East Coast, one West Coast, but I'll, I'll confirm that, guys, with you as well. If you have enjoyed, drop it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button over there if you are new to the channel. And also be sure to check out some other Glen Murray videos I'll leave on the screen. But that's been me, Jason Whiskey Wise, Mr. Bananas, and we'll both thank you and we'll catch you for the next video. Slanger.